This is question seven. Here we're asked to expand and simplify two bracket x plus three y plus four bracket x minus y. First thing that I'm going to do to answer this question is I'm going to start by expanding these brackets. Now to expand brackets, all I have to do is take the term on the outside of the brackets, which in this case is a two, and multiply it by everything inside the bracket. So I'm going to do that 2 multiplied by x and 2 multiplied by 3y. And that is going to give me 2x, 2 multiplied by x for 2x, and 2 multiplied by 3y, and that's going to give me 6y. Then I'm going to do exactly the same thing for these brackets. And I'm going to take the term on the outside, which is positive 4, and multiply, them, uh, multiply that by both terms inside the bracket. So four, positive 4 multiplied by x is going to give me positive 4x. And then positive 4 multiplied by negative y. So a positive multiplied by a negative is going to give me negative 4y. That's the expanding part done. All that's left for me to do is to simplify. And that just means to collect the like terms. So I'm going to collect the x's together. So 2x plus 4x gives me 6x. And then 6y minus 4y, that's going to give me 2y. So the expanding part is there. The simplified version is there. Part B, I'm asked to factorise completely 8p minus 12pq. So this word factorise, all that that means is to put this expression back into brackets. We can think of this as almost being the reverse of expanding. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by finding the highest common factor of my expression. And the way that I'm going to do this, I'm going to look at the numbers first. So I've got 8 and 12. What's the highest common factor of 8 and 12? I can say that that is 4. And then if I look at the letters in each term, I can see that I've got a P in both of them. So they both have P in common. So I can add that to my highest common factor. So my highest common factor, I can say, is 4P. And then that's going to go on the outside of the brackets. Remember that we said to factorise is to take an expression and put it back into brackets. And then I just need to work out, well, what would I need to multiply 4B, uh, 4P by to reach 8P? So 4P multiplied by 2 would give me 8P. And then 4P multiplied by what will give me negative 12PQ? So I'm going to have to multiply it by a negative. For positive 4 times a negative will give me that negative. And then 4 times 3 would give me 12. And then P multiplied by what would give me PQ? Just Q. So final answer for that part B, 4P bracket 2 minus 3Q.